Hello fans, faithful, and welcome to episode 2 of Football Breakdown. Today we're looking at the offensive line and their relationship to the running back by learning about gaps and running lanes. Gaps are spaces in between the offensive linemen. The offense wants to protect these gaps and use them as lanes that the running back can run through. To get a good understanding of this, we will use the offensive line of the Dallas Cowboys. We have Travis Frederick at center, Xavier Suafilo at left guard, Zach Morton as right guard, Tyron Smith as left tackle, and Lyle Collins as right tackle, and let's use future Hall of Famer Jason Witten as tight end. Starting from the center and working our way out, we have the A gap between the center and the guard on his left and right side. We need a running back, and who better than Ezekiel Elliott to showcase the running lanes between the guard and center? Let's take a look at this in real life. We have the center in the middle with the guards to either side of him. On this play, Elliott will get the ball and run between the left guard and the center. You see him getting the ball from Dak Prescott, cutting in between the left guard and center for the touchdown. Next, we move outside the guard to the B gap between either guard and the tackle next to them. You see the red lines showcasing between Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins, Xavier Suafilo, and Zach Martin. In real life, we have the tackles lined up on the outside with the guards inside to their left and right. On this particular play, Elliot gets the ball from Prescott and runs between the right tackle and right guard all the way in for a touchdown against the Detroit Lions. One more move to the outside and we have the C gap outside the tackle on either side but inside a potential tight end. You can see it's being showed by the green arrows on the screen. On this play, you have a tight end lined up to the far right with the right tackle inside of him. The tight end will swing out, but as the run is still outside the right tackle, it is still considered a C-gap run as Elliott goes all the way to the house against the Cincinnati Bengals. Lastly, we are all the way to the outside with the D-gap outside a potential tight end to either side of the field. And on this play, you can see him being lined up to the far left and Elliott getting the ball from Prescott and bouncing it all the way to the outside for the touchdown. So to summarize, we have the A gap between the center and the guard on his left and right side. We have the B gap between either guard and the tackle next to them. Z gap outside the tackle on either side but inside a potential tight end. And D gap outside the tight end to either side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it very useful. Please share it on social media to make sure that more people learn about this. And I'll see you again next time. Hello, Funny and Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.